Hi everybody, Sarah here from the Big Blue House Homestead. Um, my neighbor was out mowing, so I was just waiting until she was done so that I could go out and film. But I don't have a whole lot going on today because I'm trying to take a break from all the heat. I don't know if you can see, I've already been out. While she was out mowing, I cleaned the porch and I started pulling out canning jars to do my inventory and all that stuff. But I noticed the suckers are more than ready to go out. So when I did the video on tomato suckers, and how you can prune those off and put them into water and they will grow roots and you can then plant those. Well, they grew roots. Lots of roots. So I'm going to pull these today and I'm actually going to move them into the water. And in fact, this larger one, you can see it has a smaller root system. That one was actually from when I had that bad storm. It broke one of my cherry tomato plants. And so... I love having cherry tomatoes and I love to have a second round. So I'm going to go ahead and plant that out in the garden. And that's actually a black cherry tomato. So it'll be a dark purple cherry tomato, but I'm going to find a spot for it. And then we're going to take these other ones, which are the ox hearts, and we're going to stick them in the far back corner where I've cleaned up. And that way I can get those moved away from the others a little more isolated and we can start growing some more ox hearts. So I'm sitting here at the table full of canning jars. I can show you that in a second, but I wanted to tell you something that's going on. Gonna move out my plants because they're blocking my view. Um, yeah, so I went out this morning to do my garden check first thing, which I do every morning. And the first thing I noticed was that my noodle beans are getting pretty long. You know, just a day away from eating. <sighs> but today they're being eaten by aphids. So I need to weed out that area really heavy around and get that all nice and cleared so there's no protection for those aphids. And then I need to set up an aphid trap. I can spray with the neem oils and I can do all of that as well. And it does kind of benefit, does some work, helps me out a little bit. But I have found this method to be one of my favorites. Um, yeah, you just get yourself one of those glue traps, the replacement sheets for rodents and stuff. I'm not going to put the brand on here or anything, but it's just a sticky glue trap. And then instead of peeling the plastic off, fold it back and color it yellow with a marker. And then you're gonna put a couple holes in this. You're gonna tie this to a stake or to a trellis or wherever you think you're gonna you know, need to put it. But you're gonna put it near your infected area of aphids. And what happens is you'll peel this plastic off and those aphids for some reason are attracted to the yellow and they'll come flying over and stick. So yeah, it'll fill up with aphids pretty quick. Now, I have done the yellow plastic cups before. You can do those just as well. You just take a yellow plastic cup, just party cup. You can use the paper ones as well. Um, they do fade a little bit, so be prepared for that. But you can do just a yellow cup and you poke a hole in the bottom and you mount it onto a stick with a screw or a nail or even just staple it, whatever you wanna do. And then take Vaseline and run Vaseline all around the bottom of the, uh, the outside bottom area of the cup and they will stick into the Vaseline. Now, because I have a really good infestation going, I'm going with the glue trap. This will last me a lot longer, especially through the rains and stuff. And this is going to try to prevent some of that aphid problems. So what I've got is I've got this tomato tie uh, twine plasticky stuff. I bought it last year. It fell out of its holder. It's in pieces. It's a ginormous mess. So I'm just going to make little ties with this. That way I can just kind of twist tie it out where I want to in the garden. So I'm just going to cut a couple pieces because I really just want to mount it on the top and the bottom of the trap itself. And I'm going to poke a couple holes, but I'm going to try to stay away from the glue part because I don't want to ruin my scissors. So I'm going to try to poke the holes here towards the top. Um, I could probably just take this and wrap it around depending on where I'm going to put it. But I want to make sure it stays really nice and secured in place. So the top, yeah, I can probably just get away with that. But I'm going to have to put some holes down here in the bottom. Um, just to make it, you know, stay onto a stake or onto a trellis or something. So we're going to go work on that. I'm going to go ahead and get these tomatoes planted in the ground today. And then I'm going to go finish doing what I got to do because it's a hot, hot day. And I want to take short times outside and long times inside today. So I'm going to clean house. And in between breaks from the cleaning house, I'm going to work out in the garden and I'm going to get things done. But yeah, you want to see what I got so far for my cannon jars? Don't judge. <laughs> Don't judge. All right, I've got new cases 
and the case is full. Pretty much quite a bit here, but I don't feel like it's going to be enough. I need to go ahead and stock up on more. And I have some more on a shelf. I just can't reach them because I'm 5'4". And that shelf is way above my head, but I'll show you those too. But yeah, all the way up there on the tallest shelf in this mudroom, and I can't reach them. So I have to wait for Brian to get those down. Okay, so here are the noodle beans. And if you can see all that, that is all aphids. Now I've got ants up here eating with them. So ecosystem's doing what it needs to, but I want to save some of them beans. So what I've done is I've set up a tea post because I don't have another stake. I've used all the wood stakes that I have for now. I could have gotten a branch or something, but I'm just gonna work with a tea post. And I'm actually gonna set it a little farther away um, to attract them away from the plants. And then I'll have to get in and get this all weeded out. Okay, so like I said, I just have a tea post. Um, put it in the ground. I'm keeping it a little distance away to try to attract them away from the plants. And I'm just going to tie this on. I didn't realize there's actually like a hole in the bottom where I can take out a piece of paper in it, this. I don't really use glue traps. I don't trap things like that. I use live traps, um, mice and stuff. I don't kill them like that. But I went ahead and I took that paper off. And we're going to go ahead and avoid my watermelons. And we're going to get this hung on here. Um, I'm actually going to turn it the opposite direction because I have these little hooks so I can kind of hook this on here and then I'm going to go ahead and remove my sticky part protectant and that way I can just get this tied in and we can start fighting some aphids. And it really is just as simple as that. I mean I just put up a very simple trap. Um, I'm going to shake the plant a couple times to kind of tell these guys that I know they're here. And they'll fall off. I'm just going to knock off as many as I can and move forward from there and see what we can do. Alright, let's go plant the tomatoes. Alright, I was going to put the cage in first, but I think I'm just going to wait. Um, because, I, I don't know, I don't really need to put it in right away. I've got plenty of space. But I'm leaving that black cherry tomato in for a couple days. More, I need to clean out a bed to put that one in. So he's just going to take him out of the water. Take that one out of the water and lay it on the ground for now. And I'm going to see how many plants I actually have. And now I'll just put him back in his little jar of water. So I'm working with one, two, three, four, five. I've got five here that can work so I'm just going to kind of put them into a grouping here in the middle and then that way I can cage them afterwards. I'm not looking to get in a ginormous amount of tomatoes off of this. I'm mainly just trying to save some seeds so one or two tomatoes is more than enough for me. <clears throat> We've had a ton of rain come through again so ground is very saturated and wet. I'm going to have to Hope for the best that this all dries out because I'm telling you, this rain is just absolutely crazy lately. Oh, that's not even a big enough hole. These things are so big. But yeah, easy as that. You put them in a jar for about a week and then you take them out and you throw them in the ground and you've got yourself brand new tomato plants. Most likely I'm going to end up planting these in this bed, this black cherry tomato. Give it some nice good space. So I'm just going to set it in the garden for now and let it kind of accumulate to this, you know, area it'll learn what it needs to do and here in the next couple days i gotta pull all of these beets except for the ones i'm using for seed and i'll get the bed all cleaned up but i have another bed to clean up and that one is for the turnips so let's go ahead and pull one and see what they look like all right so yeah these things are eaten to death i'm not going to eat any of these greens um, i'm glad they were sacrificial in that sense because they didn't move these little beetles onto my other plants but I want to see if I get any good sized turnips out of here. Um, I have not ever successfully grown turnips. I try year after year after year. And every time I just, I do okay. Nice little turnip. Very nice little turnip. So yeah, I guess these could come out. Give me a nice little harvest and probably do that tomorrow. I'll work on the rest of everything else today, but we'll probably do that tomorrow. Start harvesting these turnips and beets. 
Okay, so like always, I always say it's so hot, and it's because it is. It's summertime. It's what you expect. Lots of heat, lots of humidity, lots of beaming sunshine, all that fun stuff. But it didn't take me very long with those tomatoes at all. I've been out here maybe eight minutes total to put up the trap and do that and pull a turnip. I mean, picking turnips aren't that hard. So, <laughs> been out here for about eight, maybe ten minutes tops. But I'm already done. Like, it's that hot and humid and nasty today. And I work really hard during the day through the heat, and I just don't want to today. I want to take a break from it. So I'm going to go inside and clean. I'm going to get some more stuff done. I did clean my porch up. Not 100%. I mean, you can see there's some stuff back here still. But I started to put pots away and things like that. And just, you know, catching up on the things that I put off till the end anyway. Just getting things done. So, thank you guys for stopping by. i come back tomorrow and I will show you a harvest. Because we're going to pull beets and turnips and get all that stuff done. So, we'll see you in the next video. Bye. <laughs> Chi Chi said bye. So, bye.